G'day. Glenn Morris here from the Smart NG Lab, and today it's all about verification. Yep, learn how to verify an inverter installation to AS NZS 4777 Part 1 2024. Now, verification is really important because you've got to make sure things are safe and make sure they're compliant. So, will you be able to test correctly to all the different energy supply types? because there's a lot of changes in supply type labeling and the nature of them. So new supply types require different verification methods and we're gonna run through those now. I mean, it used to be good enough just to confirm anti-islanding functions. Yeah, it islands, yeah, it doesn't connect too quick, that's all. Now there is a lot more tests to complete. Let's look at them in order. IES installation verification starts with substitute supply. You're gonna to have to look at insulation resistance and polarity and make sure there is double pole isolation of the socket outlet. Remember substitute supply is a little bit unusual. It's kind of just limited to a single 15 amp output, one socket outlet only. So alternative supply. Confirm that the MEN operation uh, is correct in both grid and alternative supplies so that you still have an MEN. And of course, there should only be one MEN per installation at the main switchboard. Look at the continuity of neutral. Make sure that the neutral uh, were both in on-grid and isolated with alternative supply only is maintained. So you still have a, a continuity of neutral and basically that ensures that your RCDs will correctly trip. Now with independent supplies, once again, you've got to confirm that the MEN oper is operational on both uh, a grid and independent supplies. Got to ensure that the MEN link is only at the main switchboard. And once again, a continuity of neutral. I mean, this is something that you might think you can get a product and it should just work, but some products actually don't have a continuity of neutral built in. You may have to provide that as an external link, but you need to check that it is there. Let's look at portable IESs. It's very similar to an alternative supply test, but you need double pole isolation on the inlet plug to the alternative supply system or the portable IES. So double pole isolation uh, of that portable IES. Now we talked about IPSDs, uh, inverter power sharing devices in a previous Tech Quickie. That we need to ensure a bunch of things that this IPSD is going to do. Effectively, it's fulfilling many of the functions that we expect an inverter to do now. So disconnection uh, of the current sensing should isolate all of the IPSD ports because current sensing is uh, critical for the safety and operation of that IPSD. We need to ensure, just like an inverter, that reconnection um, of the supplementary supply is not in less than 60 seconds, and that we must ensure that disconnection of supplementary supplies when loss of grid is within less than two seconds. So the same test that you would do for an inverter. You need to test this on all three phases in a multi-phase system, and you need to confirm the settings of interface protection and any export limits. Now remember, interface protection for IPSDs comes in for greater than 30 kVA. And as part of your application, export limits need to be confirmed. So those export limits might also be on an individual basis of each supplementary supply. So confirm those as well. So I told you it was a, a quick one. That's what Tech Quickies are all about. And uh, as I have before, I just want to plug Jeff Bragg's CPD courses. He covers this topic in much more depth than I have. So go to the Smart Energy Council's website, sign up for the Smart Installer Program. It's free. Yes, it's free. And it includes 15 of the essential standards for free. It's an amazing deal. Don't miss out on it. It's time limited. So anyway, thanks for watching. And as usual, show me some love by giving this video a like and look on. Please remember to subscribe. You'll get notified of all the new content because I've got some new tech quickies coming out soon and you'll want to watch those too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check it. Bye.